Panthers hosting the Hurricanes, and the Hurricanes are minus 105. On the money line, the Panthers are minus 115. The over-under, five and a half goals. The Hurricanes getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 280, meaning if you bet them that way, and they win this game outright, you win, or they lose by one, you'd win. And the Panthers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 225, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Now, this is game number four of the Eastern Conference Finals, and head-to-head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Panthers have won the last three games that they've played against the Hurricanes. The Panthers are 8-2 and two against the Hurricanes in their last 10. The underdog is 7-3 and three on the money line. And the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 8-2. and two. There have been six one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last three games that they've played against each other. The under has hit in their last three games. The under is six and four, and the under five and a half goals is six and four in their last. The last game they played against each other, the Panthers beat the Hurricanes one nothing. The game before that, they beat them two to one in overtime, and the game before that, they beat them three to two in overtime. Now I understand that sweeps rarely happen, and I understand that also the Panthers have taken the first two games in Carolina. I think both of these teams are going to have incentive to win this game because if the Panthers don't win this specific game, I think this series ends up going six and then the Panthers have to clinch out at home because I don't think they're going to do it on the road in Carolina because they are a different team at home, although they did drop the first two games there. I'm going to take the Panthers with the money line. I'm going to take the Hurricanes getting the goals and I'm going to go under. Seemingly, these teams have been playing each other tough. They haven't been scoring a lot of goals, and we've been getting a lot of overtime games. I understand that they've had rest, so we may not have tired as tired legs as we had in the past couple games, but I expect this to be another one of these low-scoring games. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.